Got a, a beautiful, beautiful midnight, 12 o'clock midnight right now. We suppose a splendorous midnight sun going on, and that's nothing to be alarmed about. The Nibiru comes into our orbit every so often, and it just throws off the rotation a little bit, and uh, as a result, the Earth spins a bit slow, you know. So nothing, to, nothing shocking. I'm living here with uh, my husband here. He does most of the work, you know, takes care of the kids. Overall, a good man. Uh, this is our, our roommate. I don't question his choices in life. I'd personally, due to predictions in the economy, recommend we all start going into uh, the pool industry. Consumerist America at its finest. The primary reason being that in a couple of years, the Sumerian hero Gilgamesh is going to flood the earth. So anybody involved in the pool industry, they're, they're going to be needed at that point. I mean, you guys are going to shoot to the top of society, like philosophy and uh, our whole infrastructure. It's all going to change. It's going to be based around pool cleaners. And these are my mom's classes. You know, the, the proletariat can, can now rise above the corrupt upper class thanks to these practical skills that they have and due to just completely unseen environmental uh, causes you definitely you gotta be on the winning team america's made some big enemies and let me tell you there's all sorts of predictions about the end of the world the bible says there's going to be a uh, an immense army from the east but the truth is, it's, it's not going to be who you expect. Africa is going to unite into one country and attack America because of this. We deserve it, so get on the side of the winning team before it's too late. Still a lot going on in the world, though. I mean, I'm sure you know about the aliens in society. But if you don't, Pixar knew what was going on the whole time. So if I explain it with that, it might make a little more sense. In Peru, you have the Nazca Line. It's all based on naturally occurring animals or plants in the native area. But there's one called the Astreon that does not add up. And Toy Story, as it turns out, was nothing more than an analogy for the Astreon. Buzz Lightyear lands from space into the toys, the human civilization of Peru, and brings them gifts. And he's not able to integrate into their society immediately. He's a higher evolved life form than a human, just in the same way that a gorilla who can have pets and understand language a gorilla is to a dog. These aliens were like that to humans. The scary thing is, gradually through the movie, but the light year becomes more normal by the toy standards. And this is terrifying. This is an analogy that Pixar snuck in, trying to get the word out to children about how the aliens, over time, begin to understand our primitive patterns. Weave their way into society. I mean, what's going on right now? They're here. They're in my town. They're definitely in yours. 